All right, I'm on the launch pad now and a little bit wobbly, a little bit shorter, Ooh, a little bit really wobbly actually. Uh, these might be a little bit heavy and top heavy. Uh, we will see. Uh, what we're going to try to do in this mission is get back into orbit, but get more of a circular orbit. So uh, we're not trying for the moon yet or anything. So so hold your horses on that. But uh, but yeah, let's let's launch this thing and see how it goes. So in let me get a better angle. In five, four, three, two, one. All right. Lift off, cleared the tower. That's always good news. Heading up. Let me throttle those main engines up a little bit more. I always forget to do that. And here is the interesting staging I've set up. I've got four sod rocket boosters going. They are going to burn out, disconnect, and then I'm going to light the next two. There we go. Disconnect. Light the next two. All right. That worked well. I'm glad I set that up properly. All right. We're still going up. Still got plenty of fuel. Throttle up just a little bit. I don't know why these keep overheating. Maybe because they're so close to these engines right here, they're getting the exhaust kickback. Uh, oh well, they burn out and fall away before they ever overheat, so that's good. Right. Get rid of those. Very nice. Still going up. Very nice. Come on. Kerman brothers are doing fine. We're still gaining altitude very well. Okay. Not that much exciting going on right now. <laughs> ah. Weird looking rocket, but it works. It works! Check out this image right here. <laughs> We're not going to the moon, but sure as hell looks like it. Uh, continuing on through the atmosphere. Uh, let me bring our headings back up. Still doing good on the altitude, I see. It's growing much quicker. I think I should consider starting to head over because I'm starting to get above into the atmosphere. Uh, so I'm going to throttle back when the fuel reaches half. I'm going to tilt. Oh, there's a little bit of lag there and it made it look like the, the engine's turned off. Uh, I'm going to tilt a little bit and then we're going to start to hopefully get a better orbit. Alright, throttling down to half. Turning off the SAS. And I should actually probably turn on the RCS help with this maneuver. And turn the SAS back on and throttle back up. And these fuel cells are almost spent. So we got that. I want to disconnect. And I'm still going up pretty high. Let me wait a little bit until I fire in three, two, one. Holy cow. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me. Got easy now. Ooh, that was some crazy piloting right there. Throttle up a little bit. Oh man, I'm gonna get in an egg shape orbit again. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me turn off the engines. Alright, I have two fuel tanks now, so. Hopefully. God, <laughs> I keep making this egg shaped orbit. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to uh, adjust this the, the, adjust this orbit enough as to where I can get into more of a circular orbit. Right now, it's at 217. So I think, say right about here, I should fire my rockets 
to hopefully circularize, circularize, is that a word? I just made up a word, space word. Uh, circularize the, the orbit. Uh, let me actually, what do I wanna do? I wanna kinda rotate, even though I know it really doesn't matter, but I like, it's much more visually orientating to have the, the ground on the bottom. Right, there we go, very nice. I know eventually I'm going to want to be facing this way. This away. Oh, oh that's really sensitive. That's what she said. <laughs> oh god. Ah, uh, okay, let's let's just stabilize right there. Alright, in a few seconds I'm going to File the rockets, and hopefully we will get a circular orbit here. So let's see. Maybe. <laughs> God, it's so hard. I don't know the math that's involved in making this work. Uh, maybe right about now. All right, let's throttle up there and see what this does. All right, very nice. Exactly what I want it to do. Albeit slowly, how's my fuel doing? Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna throttle down again. And once again, when I get a little bit closer, I will fire the rockets again. Whew, <laughs> this is stressful, very stressful. All right, I'm going to do a burn in three, two, one, burn. Okay. This is doing well. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm really not looking to increase my altitude here. I'm looking to increase it all around, so good thing that that's not doing that. All right. This fuel tank is almost spent. There's got to be a better way to do this, I think. <laughs> Oh, there goes that fuel tank. Alright, things are starting to speed up. Come on. You can do it. Right, I gotta keep it keep an eye on the back side here. and the fuel. All right, let me slow that a little bit. Okay, very nice. Okay, I wanna get the other side to about 300. Okay, we're in orbit, well, sort of so far. Very nice, doing okay on the fuel. Let me actually, I think this is where I had the problem before. I'm going to throttle down and I'm going to once again wait until I get, yeah, see this is getting too big. That's how I got into the egg shape. Okay, I'm in orbit. Hooray, huzzah, and etc. I'm in orbit. Uh, it's a little bit wonky, but uh, I'm in orbit and I'm going to wait until the spacecraft reaches this. The apoapasis, or apogee in normal spaceflight terms. Uh, and then when I when I do it at this exact point, it'll expand the opposite orbit. So uh, it looks like I'm going to be in a pretty tall orbit here, 350 by hopefully 350 I can make it, but uh, but we will see. All right, very nice. And I'm going to want to give myself time. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Oh, God, I, mean, I don't want to pass it up. I'm going to give myself time to orient myself. I think this is the wrong way. 
No, that's the right way. Ooh, good guess. Orient myself. Slow down the roll. Very nice. Okay. Turn that on, and then fire them rockets. Exactly as planned. All right, I want this, what did I say, about 300? Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, that's happening really quickly. Oh, God. Okay, what are we at? 295 by 345, okay. So let me just do a little bit of an adjustment. Let's see what that did. 324 by, I can't see. 345, okay. Let me adjust myself slightly and give it a little bit more of a burn. Oh, 345 by 351. I don't know if we're going to get much closer than that. So hooray, we are in a somewhat mostly circular orbit. Uh, pretty tall orbit, uh, but uh, an orbit all the same. Uh, we're how far? Ah, the moon. The moon around Kerbis is actually not that far away, so it shouldn't be that difficult to get to the moon. But I think uh, let me let me get back in the view here so I can. All right. I think uh, the way it works is ah, uh, getting to the moon is gonna be hard. And of course, I haven't looked at any forums or how tos or walkthroughs or anything yet. I want to I want to try this. Uh, with the vanilla version of the game, uh, before before I start messing with that, I want to try this on my own. Uh, the moon is out there, and it and it's it, it's orbiting as well. So when I do do what I do, I'll need to do the same thing I did here uh, on the opposite side. I'll need to make a boost, and then this uh, will become more of an egg-shaped orbit until it reaches like in our first time, our first orbital flight. Except I want to burn here long enough where this becomes such a big orbit that it brings me out to the moon. But I need to aim where the moon is going to be when I get there. Uh, so let's actually speed up time here so we can kind of check out. All right, 100 time. All right, I'm going to keep it like this. And as you can see, we are orbiting much quicker, obviously, than Moon. M U N. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Ugh. That's difficult. So yeah, I would probably have to say if I was going at this speed, probably aim for somewhere. I don't know if a full 90 degrees from where the Moon is, maybe 70 degrees. Right about right there. So I would like fire right, fire the engines like right now, and that would expand this side to get out to there. And then I'm hoping the distance I travel between here and there will be the same distance the moon travels to there. Uh, of course, the other problem is, as you can see right now, my orbit is a little bit sideways, a little bit off axis. I would need to start off in an orbit that pretty much is horizontal, or not horizontal, but parallel to, to the moon's orbit. Otherwise, say if I expanded my orbit there, I would be way offline and wouldn't even get close to the moon. I wonder if there's... I don't think there's much you can do to adjust that too well. Uh, simply because you know, once you're in orbit, you can't totally change it that much. Unless... Well, I guess I can do some experience. Experience? Experiments? How much fuel do I have? Not much. Uh, I suppose I can try to see if, hmm, say when I reach here, if I fire down, will that do anything? Probably not. Uh, let's let's do an experiment, guys. Space flight, trial and error. All right, and stopness. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Now, uh, the orientation I want to take is ah crap. Uh, hold on. Let me look at myself. All right, I'm above the horizon there. Um, so I probably want to aim in this direction, I think. So 
let me change that. Yeah, because my green dot, I'm actually heading above. So this is the horizon. So I want to just fire the exact opposite direction. Oh, 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 hit the wrong button. Like right g -g -g there, maybe. Steady yourself, steady yourself, okay. So, if I do that right about now, would that adjust my orbit? Let's find out. Without wasting too much fuel, because I do need to get these guys back onto the ground. Ah, it is! It's doing it! All right, so you can kind of make little adjustments right there. Um, that kind of gave me the opposite problem. Now this is way too low. Uh, so I guess the time to do it... All right. I think the time to do it would be right when you're actually crossing the, the equatorial plane right there. Then you do it, and then I'm pointing with my fingers as if you can see my fingers touching the monitor. Uh, then you can, then that will switch the these two points more rapidly. I'm guessing because I did it right here, it actually just moved the whole orbit down around the uh, the thingy. So actually, let me. How much fuel do I have? Uh, I should have enough fuel. <laughs> I'm I'm playing with these guys' lives. But uh, yeah, I'm going to wait until I'm back around this side, and then I'll try that again, see if that works. So I'll bring you back when that happens. All right, I'm back, and I'm about to cross kind of the equatorial plane there. So what I'm going to do, I think I should still be facing in that proper direction. Yes, yes, sure. Uh, let me sort of get a little bit better. There we go. So what I'm going to do is fire the rockets, and that should tilt things out easier. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, so it's just a little bit of power. Don't need much. Mm, not doing what I want it to. All right, engine's off. What did that do? Maybe I wasn't pointing in the right direction. Okay. Huh. Well, this might be something I have to look up. <laughs> but uh, before we totally lose these guys, uh, let's think about uh, deorbiting. See, that's the highest point, that's the lowest point, so I'm going to want to wait until I reach here uh, and then bring this side in, I think. That's probably the best way to do it, right? Uh, to uh, turn that into our landing, and I wonder where... Okay, we took off from there. We're pretty off-kilter. Trying to see if I can get a little bit more precise with my landings. It'd be nice if I could land right next to where I, <laughs> where I took off. Uh, it would be an amazing feat if you could land on the launch pad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, let me actually see if I can wait till I'm about there, and then I'll fire the retro rockets, and then we'll see about bringing these guys back home. Uh, they've been in space for almost four hours now. A successful demonstration of making your orbit more of a circle than an egg, uh, but not really a successful demonstration of adjusting your, your orbital parameters here, your horizon, but... Uh, but yeah, let's 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 bring you guys back in when that happens.